Hello, hello, and welcome to 2022. I've been away for quite a while because I was fighting the flu with a ton of honey and ginger, so I can regain my voice. But thanks God, I'm back on the game. So let's continue to do something really cool with this model that we have right here as one of the first things that we want to approach in 2022 since we've been expecting this so much uh, since the previous Blender version and that is the post library. I already have another video talking about it and I will be editing it later and uploading it as a complete uh, walkthrough so you can know what you're going to do in order for you to work with your post libraries and your model. So check this out. This is frame 171. Of course, this guy is animated. I'm going to copy this one. And now if we see it move, of course, it's going to have different uh, positions for the bones. So what we want to do is to just freeze or get one of these positions and make it make it th so that the model can use that position as a uh, preset okay so let's go back to 121 now we're going to select the rig go to post mode I don't know maybe you cannot see it so I'm going to select I'm going to go out I'm going to select the rig I'm going to go into post mode here you can see it better and in post mode I'm going to select everything but now since we are on blender 3.1 I'm going to come here to my asset browser first and since now I'm on the post mode, as you can see right here, my post library becomes immediately available. Not only that, um, from this dedicated asset browser window editor, but I can also press N and then I can just go to animation, which is this tab right here. I don't know, maybe you cannot read it that well, but this is a, the animate tab, animation tab. Yeah, Blender kind of does this if you have a lot of things uh, as add-ons but never mind just go to animation then you will see the post library right here we want to create a post asset with this post selected it's going to only it's only going to store the post that it's currently on and it's going to save it in the current file this is important we can also uh, flip the post after we saved it. So let's go step number one select your your rig in post mode Step number two switch either to the outset browser or the animation tab over here I'm going to be doing it uh, from the animation tab now create the post asset and it will create the post But it will not have a thumbnail. Okay, and you can also see that you can rename this aggressive Okay Build aggressive awesome so it appeared on my asset browser pose library and it's right here but I don't have a thumbnail and I want to create one so that's very easy I can render out one snap capture of this directly from the viewport and use it I'm going to press Windows shift s and then I'm going to try to make a, a box rather a box um, that's a perfect square now I want to save it anywhere because this is going to get embedded in your file doesn't matter where you put it now I'm going to call this uh, build preview or build aggressive okay that's great now if you come to the asset browser select this one and then press and you're going to get the properties for that clip or rather this action and we want to load a new image for the preview let's just retract this and let's open the preview folder right here target the be uh, the aggressive that we just created and voila you have your asset right there of course it's not transparent you can do that if you want at, um, you can do that with a PNG and yeah that's it basically now you can describe this this is viewed aggressive and of course you can write your name you're the author and that's it here in the text you can create text to uh, search later on if your library post grows big and finally you can assign the action now why is this useful because check this out if you are 
uh, on some other frame let's see something that is drastically diff different right there if you're in this pose okay right there but you want this exact pose at this exact frame then you just click on this thing and then right click on that and apply pose or double click it and it will apply it onto that pose see that now that's a marvelous advantage and this is how blender 3.1 is working with the current system to store both libraries.